This particular program has been a royal favourite for many years. In fact, when this particular program is on, senior royals all have to stop doing what they're doing, gather round and listen in. Even in this digitally enhanced world that you can listen on catch up, all of that sort of thing. Apparently, this is not what happens when this royal favourite takes place. But as ever, even the Wonk Warriors have now pushed forward and decided that they're going to decide exactly how they're going to deal with you if they don't like your comments. As ever, let me explain. Morning, how are you doing now? Let's all have a big wave today, <laughs> yes. I know, I'm a, I don't know about you, I'm still suffering from the effects of a bit of a cold. So anybody out there that's got something similar, you've got my deepest sympathies. Don't know where it came from, came overnight, you know, that sort of thing. And you know when you kind of think, oh, you know, but we all have days like that, don't we? So yes, let's have, come on, let's have a wave. You're waving, but come on, let's have a wave. Yes, it is. we've got to get to a bit of exercise in, you know. I think it's important on a serious note, but honestly, if you have got something, uh, speedy recovery, look after yourself. Vitamins is the key. I've got some of those easy peelers, oranges. Have you tried those? Apparently, they're supposed to be easy to get in. I don't know about you. We can never get in any of these things. But you try to get the vitamin C, don't you? Back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. This all centers on, of course, uh, Camilla, the Queen Consul because late last year she hosted a very special celebration for a program that she simply never misses. It's one of her all-time favourite shows. It's been going over 50 years plus now, in fact. It's the BBC radio drama serial, The Archers, that's right. And it's one of those programmes you either love it or you don't. Many people love it, so, you know, I'm not knocking it. You know, it's a great serial. But even that now has fallen foul to the wokery, as it were. So much so, according to a very good source, that their social media pages have recently been attacking some of the woke storylines. Because, obviously, you know, it's about local farming people, but they're trying to to make everything click in, aren't they, to the relevant thing, if you like, you know. It's all about, is it ticking a box, is it the right story, that sort of thing. Now, what's interesting here, as I say, is Camilla recently hosted a very special celebration for them out at Clarence House, which I think you've seen some of the video at the side now. Now, basically, their Facebook pages and their Twitter and other social media accounts, apparently, according to dedicated fans, have been doctored with. If they put something that the BBC doesn't like, it's simply removed wiped away that sort of thing it's interesting isn't it because you know obviously as fans you want to get involved it's about whether you like the program or not and why can't you have a say in exactly your favorite soap opera why can't you say i don't like this particular storyline now we're not quite sure how camilla feels about these shall we say adjustments to the wokeratory storylines for the archers but as we do know and we told you recently she spoke out at length about tampering with the brilliant books by the classic children's author Roald Dahl. So one would assume that even she's not too keen. Now I'm not suggesting she's got her well manicured fingers tapping away on that Facebook page, but wouldn't it be interesting to note if, of course, she felt the very same way? And more importantly, do you agree with the fact that the BBC are removing these particular comments about you, the fans, you know, what you like about the programme? Should they be allowed to? Or what's the point in having a comment section if you're simply just going to remove anything that you disagree with? As ever, I'd love to know, are you a fan of the Archers? Did you dip in and out? And more importantly, do you think even that now has gone too far woke? Neil Sean in the heart of London.